Alright, well here we are, Saturday. It is October 3. This is the 2015 Oktoberfest, all GM Oktoberfest. And the boy behind me is obviously firing up the guitar. Kind of hard to see through here, but cars are all the way back through here. All the way behind that clump of trees, all the way down to the spring itself. Down through here, and then 110 gajillion SSRs right there. I think uh, Denny was just telling me there are 45 of them here. 45 SSRs, so if you like SSRs, you're going to find them here. And then sweet rides like this Buick which is really, that's a whole bunch of car right there. That right there is a real pretty 56 too. So, let's get out here and see some cars. Real pretty cameo here. Those wheels are really, really nice on this car. Nice, nice, nice. Comeback Trail. Of course, he's uh, he's still got a little ways to go. That was a real pretty. Real clean little Nova here. This is the Super Sport. <clears throat> really nice, clean little guy. And he's sporting all the gears, which is a plus. Really like the way the roof line on these things works out in these early super sports. Just a good looking car. Nice GTO here. A little 65, my favorite body style. He is sporting all the gears, buckets, console. All the good stuff, nice paint, and the tri-power. You gotta love that part. But if you're gonna have a GTO, nice, good-looking 442. Really like these early years. I like the body style on these things. Never really like that wheel well trim on them or that sideline but e boy the rest of it there's a couple of sweet little pickups right here right in a row Nice looking guy. I like that a lot. 
And then right next to it, I really like that satin finish on this one. Really looks good. satin along with that gloss, that looks good. Nice. Really like these little buried in here flames. It looks good. Wheels are real nice for this truck. Paint is just deep. Jeez, even the paint on the dash is deep. Tail lights of the cat's pajamas. Now that's what to do with a suburban. And this, uh, this study is here every year, and I still think it is just a sweet looking truck. Well done. A nice little Pontiac here. Nice, clean, straightforward little guy. And a little surprise under here. You don't see that every day. That is the six. Looks good in there. I like it. I really dig the headlights. Almost looks like a S10 frame under there. Well, well, maybe not. Never mind. I like it. Nice little hump back here. Uh, 33, 35, something in there. Clean, straight, chopped car. Looks good. Paint is really nice on this thing. At 
Lisa LaSalle here. Are those headlights cool or what? That whole front end is awesome. Then another sweet little SS. Looks like that butternut yellow. Clean, clean in there. Clean, straight little car. Oh, that sneeze nearly knocked me down. I like those cars. That roof line is what does it. I love these Chevelles in this year. If I could turn the El Camino into one of these, I would in an instant. Little four barrel 283 in there. That's plenty of motor for this little guy. Yeah, it's air conditioned too. Nice. In a heartbeat, I would love to have this car. <laughs> heartbeat. Heartbeat of America and all that sort of stuff. Man, that is pretty. Well, you just don't see this every day anymore. Little Cosworth powered Vega. These are quick little boogers right here. And the motor just makes a really neat screaming sound. Really nice. Nice, nice, nice. But there's a cherry on top of this Malibu. And that's it. That's the 502. Pretty, pretty car. And then, right next to it, is this good looking 66 GTO. And he is sporting all the gears. Plus one, that's five speed. That is pretty. Well, if you're going to have a Corvair, may as well make it a turbocharged Corsa. I remember these guys from back in the day. They were quick little guys. Hey, you can go ahead and buy it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I, cause I need another car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see you in that now. <laughs> oh hell, I can see me in it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I still have a soft spot for these things. I nearly bought one back in the day. And I still think they are good looking cars. If I could get one reasonably now, I think I might. Well, I, well yeah, I, I might. I like them. 
That's just a swoopy, curvy car. Still won't like the bumpers, but the rest of that car, top down, I'd look good in that thing. Yeah, I saw this one on the road when we were driving in. And then I saw these wheels. And then I heard it when it drove by me. And this is why I heard it right here. But I don't want the Nice. Now there is a whole lot of car. This is the Oldsmobile 98 convertible with the rocket motor. Long, wide, sleek, low. Look at that fast back roof. This is a super sport. And this is the way super sports, big body super sports ought to be. That's all four gears in there, ladies and gentlemen. If you can do a super sport, do it like that. And be sure and throw a big block on top of it. Then I'm guessing this one here is probably 53. But look at how they are hard topped. That's nice. How did you know that? There's not much to say here. You just look at this one. I've shown this one two or three times. So you ought to know all about it. Golly, I love this thing. Look at that dash. I like the color, I like the design, I like everything about it. Man, those nomads. Nomads are just nice, especially if it's a 56. There's a quick little roll around the El Camino's there. That's, I don't know if you can see it, that's too deep in there. Around in here. And they bring us up this way. And they gave us a little, little spot over in here too. So we got, we got a really nice area this year. It's about uh, 35, 38 of us, I think. And then uh, over here, the SSRs. Up there to the to the porch on the mansion. A lot of cars here. That's Angie's new car. 
or Ashley Sam's old car with the Grand National Turbo V6 in it. They've done a lot of buffing and scuffing and cleaning and shining on it. It looks really nice. Sun's behind the clouds right now, so you don't see that, that, that what looks black to you in the sun is actually a really dark green. It's almost, uh, and it does almost just uh, change colors on you when you walk it around like Lenny's does. Of course, Scott's car. There's Paul's really nice ride there. That's just a really nice car. Randy's car there. Miami Rick's car. Sean's car. Bob's over there. Chris and Mary's car, of course, El Chromeo under the banner there. So we, so we forget, so we don't forget who we are. And there's the rest of them down there. Tyrone's car, Matt's car. Big boy Bob's car. There's big boy right there. This one. Oh, I've been getting little patches here and there. This one's this this is a real sweet little car right here. Paint job on this. The paint job on this thing he did 10 years ago. And look how clean and smooth and deep that is. Digital dash there as well. And then, oh, here's a sad story here. I'm not even going to show you the other side of this car. That's where the guardrail tried to take Joe and that car out. He's, uh, but, you know, didn't take him out, just messed up his car. And then this real pretty maroon El Camino. Uh, he's, he shows up pretty regular. I really like this car. It's good looking. Good looking car. Look how this back in here on the firewall, different color, different color up under the hood. Good looking car. Real deep maroon in this one. Clean, tidy car, too. And that's the El Caminos this year. A real nice, clean, super bad 58 Impala. Hard top buckets. And then this. All three carbs on a 348. How happy has he got to be? Look at this upholstery. 
I like it. Really, really nice ride. Now here's another whole lot of car. Look at the deck on that thing. But, you know, it's not only a big pretty beast, but it's a big pretty convertible beast. And how happy would you be in 63 to be driving around this little convertible Le Mans? Little two barrel 326 in there. Buddy of mine in high school, Mike, I think Mike Vaughn had this one with the slant four in it. Man, we used to have a ball in that little car. But Mike's had the, the three, three speed on the floor, that's automatic. But still, good looking car. Yes, sir, Bob. If you're going to have a GS, get a GSX. This is just a bad mamma jamma right here. Bad back in the day, bad right now. Oh, that's pretty. That's clean in there. Paint is real nice here. And that... Oh, that's the little 350 GSX. <laughs> Still, even with 350, good-looking car. Quite a few real good-looking Chevelles here this year, but not many of them that are... blown. Let's have a supercharger, please. <laughs> Be tough to decide, wouldn't it? I like this interior a lot. <laughs> pretty, pretty car. I still like this body style on Corvettes. This is when they looked good. 69, 70. Nice, flared flared in the right places just like just like a woman ought to be <laughs> and at four speed the way a Corvette ought to be This clean, straightforward, stock looking. Little 400 Firebird. Yep, it's, it's North Cuba. I don't know how long you get to this comment. My friend is waiting for This is back when Firebirds still look good. Especially if you had that 400 laying up in the hood. And, like the right kind of Firebird ought to be, all four gears. Man, if you're going to have a motor, how much more fun than a bunch of stacks is there? Probably. Unless 
You're putting it in something like this. Nice work in the dash, too. Clean little Willie's pickup with a whole bunch of tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just something that I think we have to enjoy. Nice little 350 SS Camaro. This is the first year of the Camaros. Little convertible. Still one of my favorite body styles. 67, 68. That's the good looking Camaros. Never been much of a fan of the 69 as I am the 67, 68. Real clean little 64 Impala here. Pretty well straightforward little bench seat car, automatic. And about 4,000, 4,500 pounds. Push around with a straight six. Because back in the day, that's how you got them. It was not at all unusual for a little six-owner to be pushing these things around. Happened all the time. And another little Chevelle convertible. Just can't help it because I love these cars. Little four-barrel 327. Convertible, white, red interior. Automatic, drop top. How's it going to get any better than this? Oh, sorry, guys. Yes, sir, e Bob. No, that's 57. Tail lights are. Tail lights don't seem right, but everything else does. Good looking car. And this is Derek's big nasty Nova, which I've done videos before. You've seen this one before. You know how clean it is inside, but I don't think you've seen it since he's done this. Big block in it and pro charge. It is supercharged and it is one fast mamma jam. In fact, you can see uh, videos of this car. He's got them on his YouTube channel. Uh, oh, geez, I've forgotten now what it is. Villain 28, Villain 128. Uh, look up Villain. You'll, you'll find him on there with a few runs on this car. It is a fast, fast car. Good looking too. Our original Mark I got a black sixty six in this case. Yeah, see.